So you're going to get, uh, you have about a 99.59% chance based on the factual numbers of how many of these are actually repaired and fixed over the course of the hundreds of thousands that are around the country of getting 20,000 hours out of these units without anything happening. Um, what I would like about the, the Respironix Everflow Q is you can use this concentrator right here, and I have it in the plastic because I just took it out of the box, which I'm going to show you in a second, how it's packaged. But this particular one does not have, uh, it has um, an internal filter, but it does need to be uh, changed until two years, okay? So when it's shipped, and it's shipped uh, as a bundle kit, we, we ship it from uh, our location, and we do have these in stock in our warehouse here in Arizona. But what I can show you is this is the, the way it's packaged. We always ship things out factory sealed, so that way you know that it's brand new, just off um, from Respironix and hasn't been opened. And you can see that I did take it out. It comes very well sealed with the side to protect it. And then it has the, the bottom with the manual. Okay. And then this is the top that goes on top of it. And it just sets like this. And the concentrator is underneath it. Okay. It weighs about 44 pounds. The concentrator actually weighs about 36. And let me go ahead and take the plastic off. Now, we've seen these concentrators change a lot over the years. Uh, the, the older model was the Millennium, which was uh, about, you know, about 10, 15 pounds heavier than this one, along the fact that it was much bigger and quieter. I'm going to go ahead and turn this one on so you can see it running. Now, we look over here at the Perfecto. This replaced the Platinum model, which was about 54 pounds. It was... Uh, quite a bit bigger and quite a bit noisier. Now the um, this one right here that we're looking at, this is the Everflow Q with OPI. I'll let you know what OPI means. That stands for Oxygen Purification Indicator. What happens is it has a built-in analyzer which will sense that if this concentrator is not creating over 90% pure oxygen right here, coming out into your nose through a cannula or mask, then it'll, it'll go off. It's constantly analyzing how pure the oxygen is. Since you can't smell it, see it, um, or be able to taste the oxygen, how pure it is, this is a good indi indication of um, if it's working properly. It's not a necessity, but uh, you got to take that, keep that in mind. These are very reliable machines, um, but you got to keep that obviously in the back of your head when you're ordering this if you want the oxygen purification indicator. So, when you order the concentrator from us, you will see that we also include the cannulas, which I don't know if a lot of our competitors are doing it, but we think it's very important because you can't take, you can't um, administer oxygen without a way to uh, to get it into your body. Well, this is the way that you use these cannulas. I have one on one of the concentrators, and it comes in different sizes, different lengths. Um, some people uh, like different uh, nose cannulas. Some people like masks. And um, we ship you anywhere from four foot. We have the seven foot from uh, Invicare, which is a very soft tipped cannula. We have the standard, just the cannula itself, so you can order tubing by itself. And then what you do is you use, you use one of these pieces to plug in so you can hook it up to standard tubing. This is just a standard connector. And then you've got the 14-foot, um, okay? This is just the tubing by itself. So you would hook it up to one of these connectors, and then you would add on the... Uh, cannula so you could administer the oxygen. And then we have 50 foot, which is used for if you want to roll this, as you can see it's very easy to roll these, okay, and then you would roll it. Some people like having their concentrator and they need to be on oxygen at night because their saturation level goes down. This particular unit, uh, you can actually roll it, and like I said, it's very light, and you would roll it to the living room so that way you can hook it up to the 50 foot 
and do what you need to do in the morning or the afternoon around the house while you're uh, being administered oxygen. Okay, I did turn this unit on. You can hear it's very quiet. It's set at five liters per minute, which is the max. And all you gotta do is turn it down. Okay, you can see the little internal ball is going down to one liter. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and turn the Everflow Q off. And these are all stationary concentrators, which means that they plug in. They're not portable, which means you can't take them on the go. So we're gonna go ahead and plug in the Perfecto so you can hear this one before you make your decision on which concentrator you want to go with. Okay, this is the Perfecto. I think it's just a tad bit louder, but Invicare uh, pretty much have, has owned the market in concentrators for quite a long time. The durability of these have a long-standing uh, history. You can see it does have the hour gauge right there. Okay. And then it has the way to turn it up and down. Okay, they're about the same size. I think the Everflow Q might be a little bit smaller. Reliability, this uh, this does have a history. You're probably going to get about 30,000 hours guaranteed out of this without really having to do anything but just change the filters or at least just take the filter out and just wash it out and then put it back in. This does have the sensor built in, which is the same as the... Um, oxygen purification indicator. Okay, and then all you do is you put the cannula right into your nose and you can